Hey everyone, it's Rachel here from Backyard Blossoms here with another video. Today's video is all about planting Dianthus. We have a few varieties that we're going to try this season. This one I got from rareseeds.com Baker Creek. This one is just a cheap one I found at the store. And then this one here is from Johnny's and is the Amazon Purple. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the thing I am so excited about with the Sweet William is the fact that it is a showstopper in the garden. You cannot walk through the garden without noticing Sweet William. And then if you get close enough, you're gonna smell the sweet fragrance of the flower, which is one of the one things I love about it. I am gonna be so excited to grow it. The other thing that I have heard is it is really, really winter hardy, meaning that it can tolerate a lot of tough weather and I'm super excited to put that to the test. My plan is to grow it in my grow area and then transplant it out a few weeks before my last frost date because it can tolerate the cold and see how it does. It's a total experiment, but if it works, man, it's gonna be so cool. So let's go ahead and get started. I have absolutely fallen in love with the soil blocking method of growing seeds. I have had great success in the little bit of time that I've been messing around with it. I am so impressed. I love how easy it is to water. And last season when I was growing seeds, I did just the normal standard 72 cell trays. And you know, I had some that were wasted space because they didn't all germinate. The thing I'm liking about the soil block is I can kind of pluck out the ones that are not um, very good or if nothing germinated in that spot and I can condense my growing area and it is very limited for space this season because I am growing so many different things. I am super excited about the Sweet William and let's go ahead and get started in making our soil blocks and putting them on the tray and getting them growing. So Sweet William is one of those cool winter hardy uh, varieties. In my zone, I don't really know if it's perennial or not. I think you have to be like zone seven for it to be perennial. Um, I have heard that there has been really good success with the Amazon series and I was able to get my hands on the purple variety. One of my favorite colors, I'm super excited about that one. And then the other two I had, um, one was from last year when I got it from Baker Creek. And then the other one I just picked up at the store for like super, super cheap, like 20 cents or something. Um, so I thought it was worth a shot to try. Well guys, we are finally done with our project and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I had a few less seeds in some of the varieties that I originally thought I did. 
So I had to readjust some of the blocking, but I wanted to make sure there was distinct areas on what was planted and what area. Um, it actually ended up being better because I have more of a way to water it, little trenches here. So we're gonna put them under the grow lights with the dome, let them do their thing for a few days. I'll check on them in about a week or so and see how they're doing. And um, we will have some baby plants here pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.